focusing more on the handstand alignment than building strength here. Even though I do use a lot of strength just to balance, um, my, my focus here is trying to get a good alignment, uh, my biceps by my ears, and that's the that's the first step that I'm that's the next step for me. So I wasn't able to rec well I guess this right here looks pretty good biceps by the ears, but not very straight. Um, I feel like I'm getting better. I haven't done handstands with the intent of better bettering my form i've only really done them just to increase the hold time but i think uh doing a more qualitative quality rather than uh, accumulating a lot of time in the handstand is the new philosophy for me um tomorrow i will probably try to build some strength uh, with the straight arms to get some press handstand to be honest, I'd rather have a press handstand than a very clean handstand. Uh, I put down a yoga mat, which really made all the difference when it comes to bridging. And I, I think that was actually the only reason I was having trouble with bridging is because I was doing it on this very slick carpet that I had. So ever since I put this yoga mat down, I feel more secure and I'm able to straighten the arms out, uh, get a nice um, bridge. And yeah, um, my right shoulder sometimes hurts when I do bridge motions. So this right here is what I'm doing to remedy it. it it's definitely reversing the pain. And I'm also just becoming more, I guess, aware within the bridge. So I get an extra stretch by pushing on the bars to my sides. And don't forget to push the like button, comment button, subscribe button. Leave a comment for with a question because I want to do a Q&A video. That's what you guys said in the poll. And just some regular hanging to help balance it out. Doing these pull-ups with the, with the maximum arch in the back with an active hang which is pretty much just trying to do a bridge from the spine only and then doing a pull-up. Here I get into some leg strength. This used to be a good stimulus, but ever since I kind of got a little better at it, the stimulus seems to be wearing off. Maybe I will put... I'll continue doing it for a little bit. I think I could try to put the bent leg a little farther out into the splits position of the hip. Um, single leg squats are good for building strength. They're very similar to a handstand where that you'll never end up reaching failure because by the time you get fatigued, you'll just lose your balance and fall over. Which is a benefit if you just like doing it, which I do like doing it. So... Hopefully I'll do some more. I only did this one set of squats, but I want to try to bump it up to maybe um, one set a day and then try to build up from there. Because uh, after doing these for a while, eventually my knees get tired, so I have to take a, a bit of a break from doing single-legged squats. But hopefully I can build up to the point where I can just do them every day and it will uh, fortify the knees. And then this... Uh, Splits, I didn't actually do the splits, I just fell on my butt, hard to tell from the angle. But here I actually am doing the splits. I'm making progress. I can get my calves to the floor sometimes. If I want to, I can get the calves to the floor. But that's kind of the fullest range of motion I have. And building it takes some time. So doing this kind of motion here hurts my shoulder um, no matter which side I do it my right shoulder will hurt even this one hurts my shoulder uh, only the right one so I'm just continuing to do the one arm hangs and the, and the pain is decreasing so that's good to know
I'm trying to keep the arms straight and eventually get to do a handstand from this position. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Bye-bye.